Well, welcome back to the build of the Wattscraft 3.3 with a Honda Turbo. Things are progressing along. It is, what is today? Tuesday morning and got a little bit done yesterday. It didn't seem like a whole lot, but in the scheme of things, it actually was a pretty productive day. So I'll show you really quick what all got done. Um, this is a really small uh, sand trap, but I built a bracket for it and got it mounted up. I have a plan for all the uh, the lines. The blue is just a temporary until the black gets in. What else do we did? I got the steering cable in. That was from the other day, but it is all rigged and working okay. okay. Everything's just loose. I'm gonna still seal these things up. I put the through hole for the uh, for the siphon, the bilge siphon that comes off the pump, that is in. And the biggest thing is the uh, the reverse cable is in and the bracket is built. Let me see if I can take this off and show you how it is built. These cables, on the Yamaha I had to do it too, the cables aren't long enough for the, for to reach the reverse. So I had to, um, this is where the lathe came in very handy. Uh, just chucked it up and then did a, a center drill out and tapped. And these are all fine threads. It's quarter 28 fine threads on both ends. And then there's just a stainless quarter 28 bolt that connects those two. So it's essentially an extension. And the Yamaha are longer, but this is what this one came to. So the way I did is I did this end first, connected it to the reverse gate, and then figured out how long you want to do that. So these things are pretty, I, I red Loctited that thing on, so it's not going to come off. And then this side will have a jam nut too. But the bigger part of this project is the actual reverse gate itself. Like I said, the Honda, it comes attached to the skid plate or ride plate, whatever you want to call it. It's not attached to the actual pump housing like the Yamaha uh, was. So I had to kind of get a little bit creative. So here is what I came up with. So I just started hacking on the skid plate. This is all the parts that I cut off of the, uh, of the thing and really only needed it to be this tall because I saw that there's these nice big ribs here that for, that's probably three eighths thick or, or whatever it is. Um, I was thinking that I would be able just to rest this right on the bottom of the ride plate here, but that didn't work. It was too low and it wouldn't clear um, the hardware in here for the, for the trim arm and stuff like that. It wouldn't clear. So I propped it up in there until I got everything working right. Um, well, you can see, this is, this is how high um, right there I had to prop that thing up. So put some spacers underneath it until everything actuated right. The steering cleared, that trim um, nozzle arm cleared everything and then full throw steering left and right with the bucket up and down. Got that all set and then just made some, uh, some brackets um, right now I just got two bolts. I might do four and this is kind of cool. I'll show how this thing goes in. It actually goes in pretty handy and it's super easy to install. So it just slides in like so. It goes right flush and then I just drilled two quarter 20 bolts up through there, thread and tapped those. It's gone through the 5 16 and then quarter inch stuff there. And that worked out pretty good. So that is where we are at right now. Let's see, what is going to be next? The fuel. <laughs> the fuel tank, I don't think is going to fit in here. So I'm going to have to fabricate one of those from scratch. That's okay. Um, the biggest part of that is getting the, the big pickup in there and, and getting some sort of a, an adapter to fit the Honda um, pump and insert so i i want to say that rs racecraft sells those i know they have them for the yamahas i'm not sure they have them for the honda i'll call them and see if they have that um anyway so that's uh, that i'm gonna put the boat on hold for a few days we are headed to mccall idaho to go snowmobiling it, uh, I dread even saying this it's my 50th birthday on thursday so we rented a house and we're gonna go sledding so Stand by for a quick sled uh, video here probably tomorrow. I got a quick mod I got to do to it today before we hit the road. I'll show everybody that. But So that's it for the boat signing off. Hope everybody has a great weekend coming up. It's only Tuesday and saying have a great weekend, but my weekend starts tonight, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, 
uh, if you like the content, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. And like I said before, please share, uh, copy the link, share it onto your social media. Thanks for watching.